over that time, has the, the, the healthcare industry changed in your opinion in terms of, has it got busier, quieter? Yeah, you need a good relationship with the franchise at the end of the day. Still enjoying it? Still loving it. Yeah. Yeah. No <laughs> you definitely no should. No wonder yeah. he got like four or five last week. Hello, my darling. So, Dr. Saab, mm -hmm. hello, and thank you very much for inviting me into your offices today. It's been uh, really nice to get to know some of the guys in there. It's lots of great positive energy and. Uh, it seems like a, a good team you've built there, but yeah. um, we're here to find out a little bit more about yourself. So, um, yeah, t tell us a bit about yourself before you joined Tesla. Okay, uh, it's probably the same questions. <laughs> um, basically, uh, my uh, background is I'm a medical doctor, uh, graduated as a doctor, came to this country after getting married, obviously. and. Uh, went through my medical exams and stuff, but unfortunately I didn't get a job within NHS, so I had to look for different things. So after that I got a job with uh, HSBC as a business development manager and then got made in London in 2010 because of financial crisis. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And do you think that background helps you in your uh, business today? Not business-wise, but yeah, passion-wise, yes. Uh, because that's what my passion is. Uh, business-wise, obviously, I uh, graduated as doctor and doing business is entirely different to scenarios. Uh, but yeah, obviously, I had a passion for care, so that's where... Yeah. I carry on in the same field basically. Makes sense. And do you feel yeah. like you're having an impact on your local community? Obviously, uh, I, I think we try to, we, we do, uh, I do a few things for the community like I, I sponsor a local football team. So we, Tesla is a sponsor for uh, under 11s. Uh, we pay for their kids and stuff. Uh, uh, but we try to do as much as we can, like other charities like Macmillan's and uh, Mornings and stuff. That's cool. And in uh, terms of the impact that you're having with the, the agency uh, workers, you're supporting uh, care I homes? I think so, because uh, since, especially since last two years due to COVID, uh, the care homes are struggling. And obviously, we have an aging population. Uh, so it's great to know that we are making a difference to the uh, end customers, which is like people who, who need care uh, due to one or the other reason, basically. Makes sense. So, um, how long have you been? Have, how long have you had your business with Tesla? Uh, this is my sixth year. Uh, I bought Tesla in 2014. Uh, um, in the process of when I was selling my Bluebird care, but then uh, I was mentally too tired and had a, almost one year off just sitting at home. Uh, and we started roughly 2016, uh, end of 2015, like November, December, and then, but properly we started in 2016, January, February. Uh, and it's six years now. Yeah, okay. Six and, and a half. And um, over that time, has the, the, the healthcare industry changed in your opinion in terms of, has it got busier, quieter? Obviously it's gone a lot busier and uh, um, I might be wrong but I think uh, we used to get, uh, before Brexit we used to get a lot of Eastern European uh, people. Uh, they were really hard working uh, and we used to have a lot of staff from like Poland, Romania, Bulgaria uh, but after Brexit that completely dried down uh, so obviously uh, 
the aging population increased in numbers but the stock went down uh, so we uh, we are in a sort of crisis healthcare wise and uh, I presume that's why now government is trying to help by doing sponsorship visas and stuff. Yeah, sure. So what were your expectations? So, so you, you was obviously a franchisee before for yeah. a, a different franchise. So what were your expectations when you came into Tesla? And I think I have a great relationship with Ryan, Rose, everywhere at uh, Jake, uh, everyone practically at head office. Um, so I feel more sort of comfortable uh, with Tesla, um, and which is sort of a good thing because I didn't expect that it will go this way. Really? Um, okay. Yeah, you need a good relationship with the franchise uh, at the end of the day. And they, if they are there to help and you get more help than expected and obviously you will be should be happy about that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. It's good it's good to hear. But in how about in terms of financially as well, in terms of turnovers, has that kind of met your expectations and what's achievable? Um, it is hard work and uh, I work really hard uh, still uh, um, and anything you do with hard work and passion obviously it pays off. Uh, financial advice there is no stop isn't it? you can keep going as much as you want. And so yeah obviously yeah, I keep on to growing things as much as I can. Yeah, yeah it makes sense and yet like you say uh, Depends on how much effort and work you put in. You, yeah. That's that's your output, right? And yeah. So, you, but I'm sure sometimes Ryan and Ollie they always say, but um, some days I work like 14, 15 hours a day, and uh, it's a long day, and still keep going. Yeah. Okay. And and, and why do you do those long hours? Is it because you're forced to? Or is it partly it's, the passion? It's just I have to do it to grow it uh, there is no obviously passion is there that's why I do it uh, if there is no passion then it became it will become nine to five job sort of thing uh, yeah which I don't want at the moment <laughs> <laughs> that's fair enough so how has your um, how's your role changed over the years so from from those early days I imagine you know it's, it's probably just you and I don't know if you had it some, one other person but um, in those early days, it's got to be even longer hours, even tougher, trying to um, get set up. Be truthful to you, I thought, I think it was a lot easier then, and uh, probably because of we, I had few staff and probably one or two k home, so whatever. And obviously now we have a lot of staff, more k homes, uh, and more issues. Uh, Obviously, when I started, I was everything, um, recruiter, director, invoicing, payroll, compliance, everything. And, but luckily now, I have everybody to do different jobs, uh, which means I have more jobs to do on top of that, <laughs> looking after the business. Yeah. D a different kind of pressure, I guess, and a different kind it's of It's a different work. pressure, different um, working, uh, obviously. Uh, you have to now look after your office team. They are working as you want to be, and they are happy working with you. And they are as passionate as you are. So it's, it's entirely a different job role now, whatever <laughs> I had about five years ago, six years ago. Yeah. Still enjoying it? Still love it. Yeah. And up. <laughs> <laughs> so what's, what's been, what's your, um, what, what's your favorite thing about this business that you have? Be truthful to you, uh, had I started this to be my own boss, but that, that didn't work out very well. <laughs> um, it's, it's just, um, um, probably the happiness I get and 
and that, and as you asked before, that I'm doing something to change something, somebody's lives, and uh, that helping people in one way or the other way. Um, so I think that's that's why I still passionate about what I'm doing at the moment. Fantastic. And what's what's the plans for the future? You talked about growth. Uh, Have probably. you got kind of a size team that you want, or? <laughs> yeah, obviously I want to grow a, a team. And um, it's early days. We just started our uh, permanent desk as well. It's very early days. Uh, this is about probably seventh or eighth week, and we already have to stop working on that desk, obviously. And, uh, I want to grow as much as I can. Um, sure. So, what's so there is not any plan yet to have a beach holiday. So, yeah. <laughs> or a villa on a beach. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say. So, when are you take? Are you planning to take a step back at some point? Um, I think I am at a point where I can now uh, because um, I have a great game manager and. Uh, also the great team uh, everybody is sort of perfect fit in a jigsaw uh, they i can if i want to it's, it's, it's not a issue it's just whether i am ready to do it yet or not that's the question yeah <laughs> that's fair enough well you're still yeah. enjoying it you've still got the passion yeah, so yeah still mobile so i don't like sitting at home at all if I had Saturday, Sundays are the worst for me. I like it. So. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Yeah. I, I wanted to ask you a question for anybody who's maybe looking at joining Teslom or considering Teslom. What what piece of advice would you give to them? You should ask that to Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already in that <laughs> and trap in the business. Um, I would say it's a really nice business to be. Uh, whether it's Tesla or any anybody else, um, because business is always there. Uh, people will get old; they need more care. And also, especially since last year, you must have heard on the news and everywhere, mental health is growing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, business-wise, it's, the, it's never stop. Um, on the other note, which you want to choose is basically, I can only say, is the sport you will get from the South Port is, it, it is what they say basically. Yeah, that's good to hear, definitely. Um, there was, there I'll was ask for a <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, no one <laughs> you definitely no should one get No one did, like four or five last week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>